हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू योर यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजेक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फेज चेंज ऑन रिफ्लेक्शन व्हिच इज नोन एज स्टोक्स ट्रीटमेंट लेट्स एगेन अकॉर्डिंग टू द साइंटिस्ट स्टोक्स व्हेन ए लाइट वेव गेट्स रिफ्लेक्टेड फ्रॉम ए डेंसर मीडियम इट इज सफर्स ए फेज चेंज एंड दैट फेज चेंज इज पाए इन अदर वर्ड्स वी कैन से देर उल बी रिलेशन इन बिटुईन फेज डिफरेंस एंड पाथ डिफरेंस सो फेज डिफरेंस इज इक्वल टू टू पाए बाय लैमडा इन टू पाथ डिफरेंस Here, let phase difference is pi. That is two pi by lambda into path difference. Pi pi cancel out. Therefore, path difference is equal to lambda by two. Means on other words, we can say that is a phase change of pi or or. path difference of lambda by 2 okay that is the statement of stokes when a light wave gets reflected from a dense medium it is offers a phase change that phase change is pi or we can say the path difference will be lambda by 2 now we can prove this stokes treatment by using the principle of optical reversibility what is the principle of optical reversibility if a ray of light wave after suffering a number of reflections and or we can say that is a number of refractions finally falls perpendicular to the mirror then its path is reversed that is the principle of optical reversibility now we prove that stokes law in optics let we consider x y that the interface of rare medium and denser medium here is the rare medium that be the denser medium let example of air medium as air denser medium let glass so glass is denser as comparison to air xy is the interface that are separating both rare medium and denser medium here is the normal now a ray of light is incident on that surface and that ray of light that incident here having amplitude a so some of that light wave get reflected and some of the light wave also refracted or we can say that is transmitted here we assume the absorption of light is zero no light is absorbed let we take let 
R1 with the reflection coefficient in rare medium R2 with the reflection coefficient in denser medium T1 that is the transmission coefficient in rare medium T2 that is the transmission coefficient in denser medium transmission coefficient or coefficient of transmission reflection coefficient or coefficient of reflection you can say that light wave having the amplitude is incident on that of interface between the rare medium and denser medium some of the light gets reflected and some of the light get transmitted or refracted so the amplitude of the light reflected is the amplitude a and the coefficient of reflection in the air medium that is r1 so that amplitude will be a r1 okay here some of the light transmitted the amplitude of that light which transmitted that is the amplitude a into the transmitted coefficient due to that light come from rare medium that is t1 this t1 now we use a mirror here let a mirror m1 is introduced and here a mirror m2 is introduced as we take the principle of optical reversibility so if a ray of light waves after suffering a number of reflections or refractions finally falls perpendicular to the mirror then its path is reversed so the path of that light wave is reversed so that light wave is incident on that of surface some of the part get reflected some of the part get transmitted now the amplitude of that of reflected wave that is a r1 a r1 into its reflection coefficient here the reflection coefficient is r1 a r1 into r1 with the amplitude of that wave here the amplitude of that of transmitted wave that is a r1 into your transmission due to that of rare, rare medium so transmission coefficient is t1 a r1 t1 again here also we use the principle of optical reversibility that light wave again incident on that of surface so some of the light rays are partially reflected here reflection and some of the light waves are transmitted here some of the light waves also transmitted now the magnitude of that light waves which are sorry the amplitude of the light wave which are reflected as a t1 into its transmission coefficient transmission coefficient here 
denser medium that is T2, T2 that be the amplitude of that particular light wave which reflected. Now the transmitted light waves amplitude your A T1 and transmission coefficient T2 A T1 T2. Here we use the conservation of energy principle. Look at that particular case. Here amplitude of the light wave coming as A and amplitude of light wave reflected that is A R1 R1 and A T1 T2. Therefore, A is equal to A R1 R1 plus A T1 T2 ok or A is equal to A R1 square plus A T1 T2 or A is equal to taking A as common R1 square plus T1 T2 A A cancelled out here we have R1 square plus T1 T2 is equal to 1 let equation number 1 again that conservation of energy is used in that case so no outgoing waves only then coming waves so here 0 is equal to therefore 0 is equal to a r1 t1 plus a t1 t2 or 0 is equal to a r1 t1 plus a t1 t2 0 is equal to a as common a t1 as common r1 plus t2 look here here the wave coming a r1 t1 here a t1 t2 a r1 t1 a t1 t2 A T one A T one that is uh, oh, that is due to reflection. So reflection coefficient in denser medium that is R two. Here the term is R two. Okay, that is R two that term is R2 R2 taking R1 T1 as common that term is R2 look here A T1 not equal to 0 as A T1 not equal to 0 therefore that term R1 plus R2 will be 0 therefore R1 is equal to negative of R2 that is an important relation R1 is negative of R2. So, the reflection coefficient in the rarer medium is the opposite to that of reflection coefficient in the denser medium. So, since the direction is opposite, so there will be a phase change and that phase change will be pi.
due to that of negative due to negative there will be a phase change that is pi or we can say that is 180 degree look here if uh, i take the point as 0 that is plus 1 that is minus 1 it's just it's negative so there will be a phase that phase is pi or that is 180 degree same thing happened here since r1 is negative of r2 so the phase change will be pi or 180 degree now i use a relation that a relation is the square of reflection coefficient plus its transmission coefficient is 1 sum of the square of reflection coefficient transmission coefficient is 1 since there will be no absorption of that given light wave equation number 2 now comparing equation 1 and 2 comparing equation 1 and 2 we have r1 square plus t1 t2 is equal to r1 square plus t1 square r1 square r1 square cancel out therefore t1 plus t2 is equal to t2 square 1 t1 1 t2 1 t2 cancel out so it will be t1 is equal to t2 so the transmission coefficient in rarer medium is same as the transmission coefficient in denser medium which indicates that there will be no phase change in case of transmission here there will be a phase change of pi or 180 degree in case of reflection that is the proof of stokes law in optics as stokes law say when a light wave gets reflected from a denser medium it is offers a phase change of pi that we prove it that phase change only in case of reflection but in case of transmission there will be no such phase change as we say mathematically t1 is equal to t2 the transmission coefficient in the rare medium is same as the transmission coefficient in denser medium so with the help of this video lecture we understand the stokes treatment that is the phase change and reflection at the statement of Stokes treatment then prove that Stokes treatment by using principle of optical reversibility we take r1 r2 as the reflection coefficient in rare medium and denser medium respectively respectively t1 and t2 transmission coefficient in case of rare and denser medium respectively then using the conservation of energy principle and the amplitude of wave as a that reflected and transmitted then use the mirror by using the principle of optical reversibility in two equations we achieve by these two equations we take from that equation r1 is negative of r2 there will be a phase change which is pi in case of reflection from that equation since t1 is equal to t2 there will be no such phase change in case of transmission so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up this session thank you